is so good. It has been so nice. It's been like the week of Sandra O. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it really is. It's like me. Look at this. I mean, it's, it's so amazing. It, I can't stop looking at it. I can't stop looking at it thinking that it's real. It's amazing. What does it mean to you to be able to be a part of a film like this? To, to I mean, you've obviously done animated films yeah. before. Um, you've done Disney films before. But in particular, this story and, and this story of May and her mother, Ming, what was it that really, you know, grabbed you? The thing that grabbed me was there's an entire film focused on the inner life of a 13-year-old girl. And that perspective, directed from that perspective, written from that perspective, was something that I really wanted to be a part of. And then, you know, how I could help out as Ming is to also explore the very uh, tender and difficult and fraught time that we all have, all of us have with our mothers, and to kind of bring as much humanity and humor uh, to Ming as possible. It's also, you know, notable that as, as women of color, um, there, there's different, you know, expectations sometimes between mothers and daughters and, and what they expect from us. I know I have it with my mom. Um, you know, to be able to kind of add that layer to this story as well. You know, what, what about that? You know, when you read this story, you were like, oh, you know, that is very culturally specific. Mm -hmm. You know, I really appreciate, uh, you know, uh, Asian audiences and uh, the journalists who've come, who've spoken about it. There's so much understanding there's so much understanding it's like it's like if you come from an immigrant background or an Asian background but it's not limited to that of a parent that who loves you who, who has been as I like to say hyper vigilant you there's a place for that but I also feel like this a film hopefully opens up a discussion and has some language around uh, emotion and expectations that I do feel like parents do put on their children and also kids have put on themselves um, a moment that I loved earlier this week, I guess it was only a couple days ago, was seeing you kind of come across the room to congratulate um, Ho Yan and JJ oh, yes. for Squid Game. Oh, it was so exciting. I gotta tell you, being at the SAG Awards, I couldn't believe how many Korean people were there. I was like, there's a Korean, that's a Korean, that's a Korean. But you know what it's all, but I gotta tell you, it's like, you know, being at this game for a long time, that wasn't the case for a long time. So to be able to still be here while it's happening and witnessing it is extremely satisfying. Yeah. What did you feel like those wins signaled to you as a member of the of the film and television industry um, about you know how things may be growing and changing? You know, I feel like being recognized by your peers, such as the SAG Awards are, um, is is very important to uh, a global acceptance of actors. You know, we are all you know those of us who are actors. It's a big family. It's a it's a it's a it's a tribe and that was really what the sags were about all right turning red killing eve yeah. Amma, oh, yeah. you have so i mean it's been just a, a day of things from you what how do you characterize uh these three film or not three films yeah. these three projects, projects in your career right now what, what how would you describe um you know what you're doing at the moment mm, killing eve Turning red and um, uh, I'd say this, which is how I like working now. All women, all women helming, all women kind of writing, um, and that was like, it's great. It's great for me. It's it's who I've worked with the majority of my career, and I I really enjoy continuing doing so.